and welcome back guys we're gonna be playing some more fallout 4 we're gonna be doing the institute's main questing make sure it's the like button make sure it's the grab button let's get into it you do when someone has stolen from you? I teach the guy a lesson. Make sure he never does it again. Using physical force is never my first choice, but there are times when it becomes necessary. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings you've been in contact with the railroad so you're aware of their misguided beliefs they're crazy thinking machines are alive uh, agreed however noble they may believe themselves to be they are thieves usually they are a minor nuisance but lately they have become more emboldened i'm afraid we've reached a point where a response is necessary we have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. Bunker Hill must be dealt with, if for no other reason than to make a point. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside. Four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. Emissions parameters just changed. We go in shooting. Requesting backup relay now.
I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta 62 Arcus. All right, Synth. Please. C322, initiate reset. Authorization code Gamma 49 Typhoon. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just, just don't. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta 93 Stratus. Here they are. God, it's a Corsair. Issue the reset codes and we'll relay back to the Institute. Time is critical. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code Beta 77 Tempest. That's all of them. Objective complete. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return, and good work.
sensor reading detected. Oh. What's that? You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. But why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. let me out now after all this time that's well that's hard to explain certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended I well I suppose I wanted to see what would happen an experiment of sorts would the Commonwealth corrupt you as it has everything else would you even survive Perhaps most curious to me, would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know, I still love you. I can see that you do. Well, it's remarkable. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it that way. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in.
I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, uh, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I have no idea what that is. I'll admit I'm relieved. It's intended to be something of a classified project, which I'm sure means everyone already knows about it. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Hale. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Please, be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. Why would you joke about this? It isn't funny. Were it a joke, I'd agree it's in poor form. But I'm afraid it's not. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. 
I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn what... I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it. Sounds good. I'd Not as much as I'd appreciate, but here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there.
sure is here. Guess we'll have to go through them. Ha! Found you!
Pretty dangerous in there. You have any sort of radiation protection on you? Now cycling airlock. Please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Decontamination complete. You may proceed. Make sure you get back to the Institute with the Agitator.
The Institute is my life. I hope it'll be yours too. Dr. Fillmore? I think that was enough excitement for well, ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it. I'll make sure the adjective. I understand Father is anxious to get you. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.